get me to work and I still got there late so I don't know what's wrong with me I always used to be on time or even a bit early but I've just been getting up late for these last couple of shifts I've done so I need to kind of sort that out really I don't know what I've got planned for this afternoon I need to start going through my stuff because for my flight to Melbourne I can only take 23 kilograms of luggage and I came out here with like 28 so I really need to um, go through my stuff and see um, what I can get rid of and send home. Hello everyone, so I'm back in my apartment now and I'm just chilling out today. I'm watching some of Zabella's Vlogmas. I think I'm on day five or six. Day five or six, I'm on, not sure. And also writing in my journal trying to get that up to date I'm on the 24th of November writing in this so still got a little way to go but at least I'm doing it so I'm just gonna have some dinner soon it is half past five now and I've not really done a lot the rest of the day so yeah when I got home I just looked through Facebook and everything and then um, just got my laptop out and wrote some of my journal but I'm going to carry on watching some of Zoella's Vlogmas and write some of my journal and then put my dinner on. I think I'm going to have meatballs but I will see you. Hello everyone, so today is Australia Day and I've just come down to Darling Harbour. It's really warm, it's meant to thunderstorm all day today but um, the weather's actually really hot, I think it's like 30. So I have got my Fact 50 on. I've just run in and brought these sunglasses because just before I left I got my sunglasses out of my bag and they're broken, one of the arms has come off and it's actually broke so I was like if I can find the screw I might be able to fix them but it's actually like snapped off so the screw is still there and half of the arm just, the rest of it snapped off so I'm down at, as I say, at Darling Harbour and it's absolutely packed, it's so busy. I'm going to meet one of my friends later on and she's at work today so got to meet her hopefully after work we're gonna go for a drink <laughs> So today is Wednesday. I need to pop to the um, price line here and really annoying. I'm trying to use up my bits for when I go to Melbourne on Sunday so I don't need to take them with me and I'll just buy them again there. But my deodorant has just run out and obviously it's Wednesday today so I need to go and get some more. So I'm going to see if I can get like a travel size one. This was the one I bought here and I don't really like it. It's not that great so I'm definitely going to buy a different one. And also my toothpaste has run out. Great. So I need to go and buy a toothpaste. But I'm going to see if I can get a little travel one of that as well. 
So that's what I'm going to do. And also, I think I'm going to meet my friend again, and we're going to go to the Chinese friend, Chinese Garden of Friendship um, Garden that's just literally up the road. So we're going to go and see what that is all about. So, yeah, and I'll obviously show you when I get there. Hey everyone, so we are just in the Chinese Garden of Friendship. We've got our little map. It's actually bigger than what we thought. We thought it was only like a little thing to walk around, but we've got our map. It's actually quite big. So we just stand by the Lotus Pond, which is really nice. They've got really like big fish. I think they're like koi carp. I don't really know, but they're all in the water as well. And it just, it's really peaceful. It's really nice. So my friend has gone, she's got a hair appointment so I'm here on my own now and I've just come into the tea room and I've got a scone. I only wanted one but I ended up, they've given me two. I was like, I just want one scone but they've given me two so there must just be two in the price that you pay and I've got a hot chocolate. But there's actually quite a big lizard sitting here, I'll show you. just sitting on the ground it's quite big so hopefully he'll stay over there so I'm just gonna eat my scone do you say scone or scone I will say scone I don't know if that's right though but yeah I'm just gonna eat that and then think I'm gonna head home because I need to sort out my stuff and bits I'm gonna send home etc hello everyone I'm home now and I've got like crazy hair I've just had a shower so my hair's like all the humidity from the shower so I've got crazy hair oh well just eating a lolly, I've had my dinner, I had some, just like a frozen pizza and some chips, eating a lolly now and it is ten past eight. So I have sorted out some of my stuff for ready to pack on Friday and Saturday. I'm still thinking that my suitcase is going to be too heavy, so I might have to leave more toiletries and stuff here than what I was planning to, but I'll have to obviously sort that out. Um, when I actually pack on Friday and Saturday so I'm just watching some of YouTube I've watched another one of Zoe's Vlogmas and I'm just watching an everyday gym of Jim Chapman so yeah the um, Chinese Garden of Friendship was so good it was just we were so surprised at like how big it was we just thought it was going to be this like tiny little thing that you just walk around but it was actually quite big and it had like big um not ponds I suppose they're kind of ponds but big ponds just make it sound tiny but it was like bigger than that yeah so just gonna have a chill night watch a bit of YouTube and yeah that's kind of it really so I will see you tomorrow morning everyone today is Thursday today's Thursday I keep getting all my days muddled up so today's Thursday and I've just got dressed and I'm gonna go and have my waxing done a little bit scared I need to have my eyebrows waxed they've got really bad and also I'm gonna have my Mui waxed as well 
so I'm a little bit scared because at home I just always go to the same person and I've not had it done over here yet. Two of my friends have and they said it's fine but you know and you're just like I'm used to the same person and yeah so I'm sure it'll be fine I'm just a little bit like Ugh. and then after that I'm going to have my hair cut my hair really needs cutting so um, I'm going to get that done and I'm going to Tony and Guy I've not been to Tony and Guy before it's a bit expensive for what I normally pay just to have a trim but I was like as soon as I'm here and it's literally just across the road from where I'm having like my waxing done I'm also having a pedicure as well because my feet are disgusting so <laughs> also having that done so yeah it's going to be a little bit of a pamper day today so I will obviously let you know how it goes uh. hello everyone so I had my waxing done and I've just come into the coffee shop again the uh, Oliver Brown one to have hot chocolate because I've got some time to kill before my hairdresser's appointment so I'm just having a hot chocolate obviously with cream on you can't have a hot chocolate without cream it just doesn't make sense so I'm just gonna sit here and drink this and then go and have my hair done I'm not having anything like amazing done to it it's literally just having a trim that's it Hello everyone, so I'm home now and I've had my hair done, she did it all wavy for me. So I went to Tony and Guy, I think I said that, but um, just in case I didn't, I went to Tony and Guy, she was really nice, another girl called Amy. So yeah, my hair feels so much better, the ends, I had it all trimmed, yeah, and she gave me like a really nice head massage, so very happy. And obviously I had my wax in, I'll show you like a close up of my eyebrows, they look so much better. They were like really bad before, <laughs> really bad. So I was like, I really need to get them done. So, and to be honest, having the Brazilian wasn't that bad. So yeah, I put that off for quite a while and I'm glad I just went and got it done. So I won't be as scared next time as having it done over here or in Melbourne. So yeah, all done and just got in. So I think I'm going to film my video of the bits that I'm sending home because there's nobody else in the flat so while it's quiet I'm just going to do that. Morning everyone, so it's Friday now and I'm on another early shift. I'm early actually because I had to get another Uber because I thought it was going to be late. I was like, um, I'm not going to have time to walk so I requested an Uber and it said it was going to be like five to six minutes and then I, what did I do? I went and filled up my water bottle and then looked back at my phone it was like your uber's here now and I was like oh my god I've not even finished getting dressed or gone down in the lift or put my food in my bag so I had to quickly do that and then I was jumped in the uber so I'm like 10 minutes early now so I'm just sitting outside waiting to go in I don't think I finished off my vlog yesterday I'm getting really bad at like just finishing my vlogs so I didn't really do anything after um, I had my hair done so I just I had my dinner and watched some YouTube, watched some Supernatural and then just went to bed really so yeah there wasn't really much that I did worth vlogging so um, what am I doing today so when I get home I'm going to put pack some bits that I'm not going to need before I fly to Melbourne and then tonight we're going to the Westfield Tower which is a tower that um rotates like 360 rotates while you're eating so we're going to do that with my friend Leah and then I think Emma my roommate's going to meet us in the bar after. Hello everyone so I've just finished work and if you can hear that that is thunder and did you just see that flash of lightning so yeah it's absolutely pouring it down I've literally just walked out of the hospital to walk home and it's absolutely pour it down there's some thunder there's lightning and now i'm just like great i've got to get home now hello everyone so i'm ready to go out to meet my friend i'm going to meet her just at the end of the road so i've got to go in about 10 minutes so i just thought i would come on and do a bit of an outfit of the night and I've got a little bit of a sticky out here which is really annoying I need to try and sort the pressure out so I've just managed to curl my hair I haven't washed my hair from yesterday when the hairdresser curled it so I've just kind of 
tidied it up a little bit because I had it obviously tied up for work so I've just managed to kind of put a few more curls still in it and hopefully my fringe is going to stay like this because this is how I always want my fringe but let's see if it stays like it I'm just done my makeup with the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, I didn't do any eyeshadow I just did eyeliner which has just smudged where I'm so hot and then my Urban Decay mascara um, I've got nothing on my lips yet I need to put something on there and I'll do an outfit so let's just move back a little bit so this is my outfit so I've got this top from New Look I think or Dorothy Perkins New Look or Dorothy Perkins can't remember which one I know I said that in my last video but I can't remember I've had it a little while now just got a white vest top under it because it's quite see through and I've just got some black jeans on with white leather in the pockets and these are from the Colleen Rooney range on Berry and then again I've got my sandals from the new look sale just to give it a bit of pop of colour Hello everyone, so we're just in the Westfield Tower now and we've just literally finished our dinner and had some dessert and we're just sitting here finishing our drinks looking out the window the view is amazing it's a night time now so it's all lit up and it just looks great I have taken some videos of it but they're not coming out that great it's too dark as you can see like me talking here is very dark so I will try and take some more and see if I can lighten them a little bit but I have taken photos and they've come out quite well so hopefully the photos will kind of do it justice <laughs> so tired I'm just like Ugh. so after we went to the revolving restaurant we went down to the next floor and just went to the bar had a cocktail and then the bar was shutting so we left met my roommate and her friend in the bar and then we were walking home and my friend was like do you want to go to Maloney's for another few drinks which is a bar literally like just at the top of the road where I stay so I was like oh why not so me and her ended up going in there had another drink so I don't think I got home till about half past one quarter to two so I'm really tired now it's like quarter past ten now and I'm just like oh so tired so I've been out to get another box to send home so I've got a bigger box so my theory is that I'm going to try and send everything in this one box. Don't know if it's going to work because I've already packed up one box. But that's smaller than the bigger box. And I've still got more stuff to go in. So I might have to do like a little bit of clever packing to try and just get it all in one box. Hopefully I can do it. I will give it a go but I've got quite a lot to send home. So not holding out much hope. Hello everyone, so I think I've mainly packed now. The only thing is here, we don't have any scales to, well that's a lie actually, sorry, I just told you a lie. We do have scales, but they're just like normal, like people weighing scales, if that makes sense. Just like normal scales that you stand on. So they're not big enough to put my case on to see an accurate weight of it. So, I'm just going to have to hope that I've got rid of enough stuff to not make it so heavy at the airport. I've not really done much else there apart from pack. I did hoover and tidy up a little bit, but apart from that, I've been a right old lazy melon. don't know what I'm going to do for dinner. I feel like I should do something for dinner because it's like my last night. But I might just go out and get something and bring it back here. If I get anything nice for dinner, I'll show you that. But if not then I'll probably just end today's vlog here because to be fair I'm not going to do much else I posted my parcel home, I did do that Morning everyone 
it's Sunday and I'm up, it's really early, I think it's about half past five now and I've been up since four, so my flight's at eight but because obviously like I rent a bed in an apartment there's someone else moving it later so I had to make sure a lot of the bed sheets were washed and everything so I had to do two loads of washing so I had to get up at four o'clock the second load's just in now and should be finished soon and then I'm going to order my Uber and make my way to the airport. So I'm just sitting here trying not to fall asleep. I'm so tired. I FaceTimed with my friend at home <coughs> and then FaceTimed with my parents. So I think by the time I got into bed it was about 20 past 11 last night. So then I was up at 4. So, tired. From, from the people to everything, topic about people. Yeah. Not me. Everyone, so I am in Melbourne now. I met up with Sarah and we just had a little wander around the shops and then she's gone to the tennis now so i went out had a quick bit of dinner come back had a shower and i'm so tired it is 20 to 8 now and i'm really fighting to stay awake because i don't want to go to bed too early so i'm in my hostel i'm in a six bed dorm a mixed one not been in a dorm this big but <laughs> hopefully it'll be fine so i'm on the top bunk it's a little bit annoying but no, I don't think anybody likes the top bunk, but there was no one else. This person obviously checked out, so I got the top bunk. So if someone else goes then from the bottom bunk, then I can jump in that one. So, yeah, I'm not really going to do anything now. I'm in my pyjamas, as you can see. I'm just making a thumbnail for um, one of my videos, and then just trying to sort out my YouTube, really. Um, I have got internet in the deal that I booked for this hostel but it's only how much is it four gigabytes for the week and I don't know how like strong it's going to be to upload a video but obviously I will try it and hopefully I can still upload videos here because I'm staying here for a month so fingers crossed so I just wanted to give you an update and finish this week's blog vlog even I keep calling them blogs but vlogs you know what I mean and I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you in my next week's one bye Bye.